Supervisor, a point of uh, information. Am I entitled to address any item in the budget or only the nursing item that you've agendized? The nursing Pause item. Me. You had your but chance I think earlier. Cratley. Okay, that's it. Uh, excuse me, Cratley addresses me, not you. Uh, Mr. I think Cratley? that's a mistake, sir. I think well, that there's. Oh. Uh, I thought this you had your opportunity earlier. You wanted to talk about your campaign. No, this no, is about nurses. Code, I want to talk about the budget here in Government Code 29980 or 28980. Uh, and 28981. Mayor Antonovich knows about these codes. I oh, certainly provide does. that any member of the public may address any item in the budget. Point of order, I, I may have misunderstood. You may have. Misunderstood. You, may have you did misunderstand. You had your opportunity earlier. You wanted to talk about your campaign. This item before us is item number two, references health services and the nurses budget. Right. And so Thank I've you. seen the nursing staff nurse staffing plan, which was provided was dated May 12th. Uh, it is not linked by to the report that your agenda had today. It was not linked at all, so nobody has seen it except for the people who you've distributed to. That's not appropriate, number one. Okay, Number two, I did look at it, and I'm pleased with it, sort of. I know Dr. Katz has worked hard on it over the last couple of years. There's been a great hue and cry as to where is the nursing plan, but we all understand that the Affordable Care Act has presented a shift in the services that we'll be providing, and thus the staffing plan needs to be adjusted accordingly. Now, I am with the people who spoke earlier in the idea that the registry is a costly stopgap measure that is not in the long-term interest of the county. The county should be developing the nurses who are among the most valuable of our employees for obvious reasons. And the staffing, as Supervisor Molina knows from fighting liability cases for many years, uh, is a critical component in being sure not, not just that we are shortening the length of stay, which is critically important, of course. The length of stays had been out of control. We were getting those reports on a regular basis. In the interest of marketing our new county hospitals, we reduce those reports from the public's uh, access. It's very hard to find them. They, they still must exist, but they're not published as they were as an S2 item any longer. Now we are, and we should be doing more in that category, focusing on the marketing. And in fact, uh, as I mentioned yesterday, we're marketing our mental health. We've got some programs to make the Affordable Care Act work for the county residents. And I think that's a good thing. But we're no longer tracking length of stay. We're tracking healthy way LA uh, items. I'm sorry, let me just uh, cancel that. Thank you. Um, so I would really like this Board of Supervisors to explain how the California Public Record Act is being supported and how the Brown Act is being supported when you are limiting during a budget hearing to just two items. The sheriff, who spoke nicely, uh, Rogers, who, by the way, is a candidate, Mayor Antonovich, Rogers, candidate, came down here, did his best. Um, by, by the way, he talked about the budget and not no, but, his candidate. But his item was, there's a big packet that he produced, nobody saw it. So the Board of Supervisors has not been doing a good job in the open government promise. And I think that everybody knows it. And newspapers this across the country budget. can see that, sir. And we are this is not going budget. to go down. The, in fact, the public has a right to access. Thank you. All right, uh, this is a receiving file item um, and so ordered. Uh, with that, I will enter this motion, correct? Yes. We move that the board receive and file and take under advisement various supplemental budget requests, comments made during the public budget hearings commencing May 14, 2014, making a finding that a notice of public budget hearings was given in accordance with section 29080 of the government code that said hearings commenced on the 14th of May, 2014, pursuing to said notice as required by section 29081 of the government code. I also move that the board close the public budget hearing for purposes of oral testimony, finding that there are no persons who have not been given the opportunity to be heard, but to allow maximum public input, permit additional written testimony and requests to be filed through the close of business on Friday, May 23rd, 2014. Further move that the board reconfirms that the budget deliberations will begin on Monday, June 23rd, 2014 at 9.30 a.m. Seconded by Supervisor Ridley Thomas, Without objection, so ordered. 